Hi everyone, I'm Ian Harvey, massage therapist. This is Cindy. Hi. And today I'm going to show you how to work with the shoulder with the arm draped over your arms. This is a nice way of working with all of these muscles from a lot of interesting angles, all while kind of keeping this arm floating. It lets you bring a lot of motion into this complicated shoulder girdle area. By the way, I'm also releasing a video just for my Patreon supporters today. If you'd like to learn more about that, click on the bubble in the corner or in the link down in the description. So as always, I'm going to start by warming up the neck, warming up the shoulders, working bilaterally. Um, I'm going to start by going slowly and showing you a bunch of variations some different stuff that you can do. For the second time, I'm going to show you a different angle and just kind of do it all in one piece. Uh, kind of it in real time. So if you'd like to skip ahead to see any of that different stuff You can click on the time codes down in the description and then once I'm done warming this area up I come all the way to the side of the body and I Place their wrist in the crook of my arm So if this part of their arm is on this part of my arm, they're in the right place and from here you can scoop the arm up and everything that you do with your body is translated into motion of the arm. So some nice things that you can do from this position are just compressing the head of the humerus into that ball and socket joint and just treating it like a mortar and pestle. This is doing a very deep massage within the joint. At the same time, I'm just massaging this deltoid and the attachment site of all of these shoulder rotators. You can slide up into the upper trapezius and give that some nice grasping petrissage. I'm using a duck grip here, so it's not necessarily a pincer, but you can do that. Just be mindful. I like this to be a nice steamroller type of experience rather than being too sharp. So I'm pressing the shoulder up toward the neck, drawing it back down as I scoop up. Pressing it up toward the neck, drawing it back down. So the hand is scooping up as the shoulder comes down. This is also a good time to work with pec major. So I'm sliding my thumb under the pec tissue out of this lateral region, and I can bring both hands in. I'm keeping my pinkies up here just so that I'm working on this available tissue that is above the drape here. I don't want to get into her personal space. And again, everything that I do with my arm, with my body, is being translated into her shoulder. So I'm able to bring this shoulder into external and internal rotation as I grasp this pec tissue. And it's difficult to get a shot of this, but I'm going to be pressing up toward her infraspinatus. So my hand is coming to the back side of her scapula, and I'm just making little strips out toward the shoulder joint. So stripping out that infraspinatus. So from another angle that looks like this, I'm sneaking this hand under her scapula, and I'm pressing toward the ceiling. So I'm pressing up. I'm using my knuckles here as a fulcrum rather than trying to use the strength of my fingers. Pressing up toward the ceiling. If you can feel the flat blade of the scapula on your fingertips, you're doing it right. And I am using nice flat fingers here. I'm not using these fingertips. You can do that, just be mindful. Something else you can do here, and again, it's difficult to get a good angle of this, but you can press that shoulder blade up and off the table, and then insert your thumb into the axilla. So now my thumb is pressing down on the front of the scapula, the anterior portion of that scapula, working on subscapularis. From here you can bring this arm over, and now I've got the entire shoulder between my hands. So from another angle, we're stripping out this posterior scapula, using our fingers here. And just notice how accessible the axilla is here. So I'm going to press my thumb into the axillary region 
and now I've got the scapula grasped between my fingers and my thumb. So I'm using a flat thumb here. I'm not using a thumb tip. And by doing a duck grip of this entire scapula, I'm making a scapula sandwich, which can work on a lot of these rotator cuff muscles all at once. You can also bring this arm over your arm. So her elbow is on the top of my forearm here. And now bringing this other hand in here, I've got pretty much the entire shoulder girdle just in my hands. From here you can do just some slow milking motions of the entire scapula. You can use this hand to press up into that infraspinatus. You can use it to press down toward supraspinatus and work with the entire rotator cuff group. So once I've spent some time with the scapula, I've worked with the trapezius, now's a good time to change the position of this arm. So by bringing the arm up like this, I can work with all of these muscles from yet another angle. This is bringing the pecs, this is bringing a lot of these rotator cuff muscles into a position of stretch. So by working with things from this angle, I can give them a new kind of stimulus and do some pin and stretch type moves. So to change this arm position, I'm going to take this out of the crook of my arm. I'm going to grasp this with my footward hand and then place this entire arm into my upturned palm. So from this other angle, that looks like this. We're just bringing this wrist up, placing it into the upturned palm. From here, uh, you can work with the lateral side of the ribs while bringing the arm into abduction and flexion. So I'm pressing toward the lateral portion of the scapula. You can use your fist here. So I'm pressing up. My fist is down toward the table right now. I'll give you another angle of this in a moment. And I'm just gently rocking my body as my fist works inferiorly down that lateral portion of the scapula. We're working with the upper pecs here. I like to use my wrist. I'm using the distal portion of my forearm, using this anterior portion, the part that doesn't have hair because it's nice and soft. And by turning away like this, as I bring the arm further into flexion, I can do kind of a moving pin and stretch of this entire upper pec region. Then you can bring their arm down, give it a nice stretch down toward their feet, and bring all this tissue down. We've spent a while mashing things upwards, so let's spread it in the other direction. So here's that entire sequence in mostly real time. I've already warmed up this area. I'm going to come all the way to the side here drape this wrist over my inner elbow. And from here, everything that you do with your upper body, rocking at the hips, is going to affect where this arm lives. So it's easy to bring this entire humerus into your hands, working with the deltoids, working up into trapezius, you can draw this trapezius down as you move the arm down. You can draw up this trapezius as you draw this arm inferiorly. Just try to create a little bit of movement here in the trapezius as you work with it. We can scoot our fingertips under the scapula here. So I'm pressing up toward the ceiling. We can work directly with pec here, drawing this pec tissue out laterally, and again, doing some gentle rocking to bring the arm just slightly into external and internal rotation as we work. You can hand this scapula to your other hand. So I pressed up with this hand and then I swooped in with this thumb into the axillary region. I'm going to place that hand up there and now I've got her entire upper arm on my forearm. 
and just doing some gentle stripping and kind of milking of the entire scapula. You can work with this supraspinatus, you can work with infraspinatus, and by pinching this hand outward, we eventually get to those teres muscles as well. And now I'm going to use my left hand, I'm on the left side of her body, using my left hand to pass this to my other hand, which is upturned like this. Uh, you might need to bring the drape with you as you do this, but uh, depends on how the drape is sitting on their body. But just be aware that this can bring the entire chest tissue upward. And now I can work with all of this tissue in this new angle. I'm using a pincer grip to draw up around both sides of that delt. And now I'm using a fist to press here along the lateral portion of the scapula. And as I do this, I'm bringing the arm further into abduction and flexion. And then you can use your wrist to swoop away like this, turning away and bringing the arm up. And bring the arm down and smooth it all out. Drag it down toward her feet. All right, so that's how I work with the shoulders while cradling the arms, while giving them some movement. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you try this with your clients, let me know what they think. I want to hear how this uh, turns out for you. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.